Some other interesting things that I think uh, I've seen is that you could do um, have students record themselves. So rather than let's say that it's it's not just limited to assignments, right? If you have an assignment and you have students do it, great. But another interesting one that I've seen is where students are working on something and they have troubles with an application or something that they're using and they actually screen record what what is happening and send that to the teacher and it's almost like you'd have an assignment but it would be like a troubleshooting assignment and it's always open so it allows students to record things and then if they have issues like let's say they have issues with uh fig jam and getting the lumio or the not lumio getting the uh, vimeo plugin uh on there uh, maybe they show you with their screen and then you can help them out with that process. So it's a, it's not just limited to assignments, but it's a good communication tool um, in case you need it for other things as well. Um, okay, you could have students, we, we kind of showed, you know, do reading practice. Um, other ones I've seen is kind of like this introduce yourself um, when you're first getting started, uh, have students record a video introducing themselves, maybe answering some questions uh, so that you can get familiar with them. And then what you'll probably use it the most for is more along the lines of assessments and things like that. Um, yeah, so some cool ideas there. Um, if you wanna learn more outside of our video, if you click on the university area here, there is, um, some certificates and things that you can earn. You can start there. You can do their course and learn a bit more about it. And um, and maybe if you find that you're going to be paying for the upgrade, uh, maybe you want to jump into one of these courses so you can learn kind of all the ins and outs of of everything that it can do and and what's more available to you from the uh, the premium side. So.